way. So we looked at a couple of different things here. Um, if we're going to do some uh, some interesting kind of stairs, maybe we don't want closed stringers. Maybe we want open stringers. Uh, maybe we want a carriage type stair or whatever. There's there's some options. Of course, you can always um, well I don't have them there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but you can down, download the, the ones that I've provided you in the samples and use them. One issue when you go to changing stairs is you need to, if you're going to have multiple stairs in your project, um, you need to make a copy and duplicate it and edit the copy. It, it doesn't affect other projects, but if I had two staircases in this project, I, I'm using the same assembled stair. The changes I make to this one would affect any other one that I draw. Okay, so you would want to duplicate, make a copy. All right, so <clears throat> I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show you a uh, a couple of things on this one. So if I take uh, the original one, uh, edit type. Okay, so here I can change my supports. I, I I would have to duplicate the stringer if I wanted a different width. But there's a open, and I'm gonna go ahead and change both. You, you may have open on both sides. You you may not. And so, oops, see it did that stare too. Um. Oh because I had changed that stair to, to be a number two. Okay, my mistake. <clears throat> All right. All right, so that's back to number one. Okay, and so you can see what it does is it puts the stringer actually under the, the treads. This would be like for an open staircase where you would have, you know, open to below with an overhang. Usually when we have these closed ones, in residential construction anyway, when we have a closed stair, it's it's got a wall on both sides. And so you may end up with a wall on one side. Um, in a case like this, where you've got a wall on one side You'd have a wall here with that stringer trim up against the wall, and it would be open on this side with a handrail, of course. Okay. One of the uh, options in here that you can do, which is kind of kind of interesting, is you can change the offset of the stringer. And you can move it back in. Six inches is probably too far. Um, make it two inches. Uh, if you look, you can see it, it pushed it two inches under the tread. Okay. So there's a lot of interesting things that you can do with this. You can move it in, you can move it, well, moving it out wouldn't work. But we can also get rid of um, the risers. And that's going to be here in our run type. I believe that's where it was at. Yeah, so we uncheck risers. And of course, we got constraint issues, okay. Dimension issues, okay. So now we have an open staircase with no risers. Okay. So there's another way to, to kind of deal with things. And the profile of the nosings, there's just so many, so many options here. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna get into the uh, to the actual exercise that you're gonna do.